Don't forget to like and subscribe to Jolie Knotts Crochet. Share with your friends. Hit that little notification bell so you can get notified when new patterns release. All our videos are available in left and right handed tutorials. Hi everyone, welcome back to Jolie Knotts Crochet. I'm Crystal and today we're going to be making this funky fun square rug. Now you might have seen the video about the funky fun circular rug. If you did not see it and you're interested in a circular rug, I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description box below. There will also be a written pattern and I'll link that in the description box below. Now this is made to really go to any size. You can make this as a small pot holder to a small step out rug or to a larger rug in any size that you'd like. You just do the repeats to make it as big as you want. It is a series of double crochets and treble crochets and we are going to be folding over our treble crochets to get that really thick fluffy kind of a look. All right, so the way that we are working this is from the inside out. I'm going to show you exactly how to create these beyond the first row which is right here in the center each row is going to have an A and a B. We will be working two rows to get each one of these rows. Now this rug project is perfect for leftover scraps that you have. Um, you can use really any size hook. This one I used what I had left over of a variegated cotton with a four millimeter hook. The one I'm going to make with you today is going to be a bulky yarn with a five millimeter hook. You can use uh, two strands of yarn with your scraps with a six millimeter hook, or you can just do it all solid and uh, use your four millimeter hook with one strand of yarn. So it really doesn't matter what you've got. I made this as a stash buster or a scrap buster really just to be able to kind of get rid of those yarns that maybe we only have one skein of, not exactly a full amount of, pro of, of yarn for a whole project, or you want to get rid of your scraps. Now the yarns that I'm going to be using today are these yarns that I got from Ice Yarns and I have a few different colors of these that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using these as a rug. It's got like a more uh, tubular type shape to it, really sturdy and durable. This is listed as a five weight yarn, so I'm going to be using a five millimeter hook. Um, these are Ice Yarns Cakes Air. 50% uh, acrylic and a 50% poly I made. It is a 150 gram cake. Like I said, it is a bulky five weight yarn and it is approximately 180 uh, meters. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to get this started and you can then go ahead and start your own. All right. So like I said, I am going to be using a five millimeter hook. If you are going to be using two strands together, say you're doing a scrap one, then you're gonna wanna use a, maybe a five and a half or six millimeter hook, depending on the thickness of your yarn. You do want it to be somewhat tight and durable. So that's the reason I'm going with this smaller hook size. So the way that we are going to get started is to be making a magic circle. Now, the magic circle that I'm going to make, or the magic ring, I am going to be doing a backwards slip knot, which is really the same as a magic ring. And then when I pull on the end of it, it will close up my ring, okay? So how we're starting is we're just gonna get ourselves a loop. And I'm going to chain three. That is going to count as my first double crochet. Now I'm gonna place two double crochets into the ring. Chain two. 
three double crochets. Chain two, three more double crochets. So we've got three sides to our square so far. Chain two, three more double crochets. Once we have all of our double crochets, we can pull the end tail and close up our square. From here, we are just going to chain two and then we're going to slip stitch to the top of the third chain to join. And when you slip stitch to the top of the third chain, you do wanna to try to get both of those loops on the top because you're gonna to want to have a front loop and a back loop. And that's gonna complete our first round. Now we're gonna get started on round 2A. Remember I told you that they were gonna be two rounds per one round, essentially. So for round 2A, here's how we're gonna do our treble crochets, and then round 2B will be our double crochets folding over our trebles. So chain three, this is not counting as a stitch. And now we're gonna place three treble crochets into the front loop only of the, the double crochet we slip stitched into. Front loop only. Three treble crochets. One. Two. Three. Now we're gonna place one treble crochet into the front loop only of the next double crochet and then three treble crochets into the next one. Front loop only. So essentially, in every side of our square, the first and the last double crochet are going to have three treble crochets, and the ones in between that will only have one. Now moving straight over to the next side, we're not going to chain anything. We're gonna go straight over to the next side and we're gonna place three treble crochets right into that first stitch on that side in the front loop only. This whole round is all front loop only. One treble crochet into the next and three treble crochets into the last. So go ahead and work that way around and I will meet you at the end or when I get right back to the beginning of the round and I'll show you how to close it up and work round 2B. Okay, so at the end of your round 2A, all we're gonna do is slip stitch to our first treble crochet to join. Now for 2B, what we're gonna do straight from here is we are going to insert our hook into the back loop only of the treble crochet we just slip stitched into. Now we're gonna go behind it and we're gonna find our chain two space and we're gonna slip stitch through both of those. Now chain two, that's not counting as a stitch, and we're gonna double crochet. So we're gonna double crochet first into the same stitch that we slip stitched into through the back loop only and through the chain two space from the row before. So you are gonna have to be flipping this back and forth pull up a loop, and then finish out your double crochet. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the next stitch. Back loop only, 
and into our chain two space. Double crochet. Now that's our corner because it's in our chain two space. So two of these first treble crochets are worked into the corner and then the last treble crochet is going to be worked into that first stitch, the back loop only of that first stitch. So go into the back loop only of your treble crochet, into the back loop only of the double crochet before that, the same double crochet the treble crochet was worked into, and double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet across. So we have two more, one from the middle double crochet and one from the end double crochet that are just going to fold over and that's going to leave our two extras from the three that were on the end to go into the corner. So through the back loop only of your treble and through the back loop only of the double. Same thing for the next, through the back loop only of the treble and through the back loop only of the double. Now we have two treble crochets left for this row. Those will both be worked into our corner chain two from the previous round. Back loop only through the chain two space. One, and now we're going to do it one more time. Chain two, and now starting the next row, our first two are going to be worked into the corner, and our third one is going to be worked into that stitch. So through the back loop only, through the chain two in the corner. One. Two. Now we're going to do the next three stitches into the back loop only of the stitch that they were worked into. So we're basically folding these over and working them through the back loop only of the stitch that it was worked from. So one. Our next stitch. two, and three. Now that brings us up to our chain two space and our last two trebles of this side. And we're going to work both of those into the chain two space from round one. So one, two. We're going to repeat that for every side. Chain two, Work your first two trebles into your chain two space and then each of your next trebles into the back loop only of the double crochet it was worked into. One, two, and now working our trebles. My next treble is here, and the back loop only of my first double crochet on that side. One, and the next one, and the next one. Now we only have three going across because we only had three double crochets in the previous row on this side. So my last two are gonna go into the corner. One. Two. Chain two. And then you can go ahead and finish the last side on your own 
working your first two and your last two into the corner and your middle ones folding over into the double crochet that they were worked into. I'm going to finish mine out and I'll meet you back and show you how to get started on round 3A. So this was round 1, this is round 2A, and this is round 2B. Okay, so I have gotten to the end and the way that I am going to join my double crochet row or my B rows is to chain two and slip stitch to the first double crochet to join. Now essentially we're just going to be repeating our A rows. Our A rows are fluffy rows, our B rows are the ones that fold over our trebles. Okay, so we are going to chain three, does not count as a stitch. And then we're gonna work the same thing, the same row, only we're increasing in the sides. So we're gonna have three trebles into the first stitch, three trebles into the last stitch of the side, and one treble into the middle ones. Now remember we're working into the front loops only. One, two, three. Now for this round, we have one, two, three, four, five stitches between our first and our last. So place one treble into each of the front loops of those stitches. And when we get to the last stitch of the side, we're doing three trebles. Now go ahead and repeat that for each side. So into your first stitch, three trebles, three, one treble into each of the next until you get to the last stitch, place three trebles. We're not making chains or anything in between them, we're just jumping straight over to the next side, working three into the front end, loop only. Go ahead and finish that all the way around and I will meet you back to get started on round 3B, our double crochet row. Okay, here's what my work looks like so far after my A round, and now we're gonna get started on the B round. Slip stitch to the first treble to join. Chain three does not count as a stitch. And now we're going to, oops. Now remember straight from here, we're gonna go into the back loop only of the same stitch we just slip stitched into and through the chain two in the row before. Slip stitch through those both, chain two, not counting as a stitch, double crochet through the back loop only and through the chain two space. Do that twice to start and to end each side. We're working that twice. After your first two, we're folding over each treble with a double crochet into the same stitch it was worked into all the way down the side until you get to your last two trebles. 
All right, here I am at the end. I've got two more trebles left. Those are going to work into the corner chain two space from the previous round. One, two, oops, I didn't pick up the whole back loop. Chain two and do the same thing for the first two trebles on the other side. And now we're going to fold over each one and work it into the back loop again of the same double crochet it was worked into. And that's it. You are going to repeat those round A's and B's until you get to the size that you want. And enjoy your new rug or your new hot pad or whatever it is you choose to uh, use it for, all right? Thank you everyone for watching Jolie Knott's Crochet. Again, I am Crystal. You can find me on Instagram or Facebook under Jolie Knott's Crochet. You can also find my community group, Jolie Knott's Crochet Community, on Facebook and show us what you've created.